each of the entries of all those types of things. But because of money, they are, they are forced to sell their conscience and risk the life of Cameroonians. Okay, uh, uh, Amadou Tante, uh, Amnesty International is currently <coughs> leading a campaign for the release of political prisoners in Cameroon, not even our detainees of the Anglophone crisis in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon. Before we dwell on that, <coughs> let us uh, have this report that was done for us by Fon Quinta. In a two-page letter addressed to President of Cameroon, Paul Bia, signed by 27 Cameroonian and international organizations, Amnesty International called on the President to reform laws used to criminalize protests and ensure the release of all arbitrarily detained because of acts of free expression and free assembly. In the letter dated Wednesday, February 2, 2022, Amnesty International condemn arbitrary arrest of Cameroonians who are still in jail at the time the country plays host to Africa's biggest continental jamboree, with the Afghan. According to Amnesty International, over 100 people have been shut up in prison, most for over a year, some for over five years, while some face substantial sentences simply for exercising their human rights. They continued, while celebrations go on outside, these people are suffering inside crowded cells, counting months or years that they have already spent in prison, plus the months or years that await them. The international body also cited cases of Cameroonians who were arrested during protests in the country's crisis hit Anglophone regions, in the likes of Pentherens, Vice Principal of Cars Bambali, T. Conrad, Mancho BBC, somewhere was Zizi, amongst others. They noted that the injustices and indignities faced by the people and many others have multiplied as months and years have passed, expressing their shock not only for individuals and injustices of their suffering, but also for the greater injustice that their arbitrary arrest represents, the fear anyone could be in prison just for speaking out. Interpreting Cameroon's draconian and anti terror law of 2014 as a means to criminalize even peaceful protest, Amnesty International urged President Paul Bia to reform these laws used to criminalize protests and public assembly and ensure that as the Afghan celebrations die down, Cameroon should be made a place where people can truly celebrate. It should be recalled that in another report published by Amnesty International on January 24, 2022 about the armed conflict in the northwest and southwest regions of Cameroon, it stated, over the past five years, the human rights situation has grown increasingly bleak as people from Anglophone regions, including journalists, human rights defenders and supporters of political opposition have been arrested and jailed for expressing their opinions. Thank you, Fon Quinta. We are back in the studio to continue with our discussions. And uh, Amadou Tante, your own organization, Conscience African, is amongst uh, the uh, 27 uh, international and uh, local uh, non-governmental organizations championing uh, the uh, release of political prisoners in Cameroon. How did you guys come to this uh, level that we have now? You have to write to President Paul Bia. What motivated you guys? No, uh, the reality is that we are working in line with what the law tells us to do, or what we, with the law. Because Cameroon is a state of law. We know very well that Cameroon is a state of law, but we cannot, Cameroon cannot at the same time uh, create a law like the 2014 anti-terrorism law to strike, which is uh, well, to criminalize, criminalize uh, peaceful protest, which is unacceptable, because even the 2014 law itself, okay, uh, anti-terrorism law, is against the Cameroon Constitution, because if you look clearly in the preamble of the Cameroon Constitution and Article 45 of the Cameroon Constitution, it is very clear that the, the, the 2014 law is clear against it, because can we, can we Cameroon, as it, it is stated on the report, that uh, if these people are not free, it means that uh, all Cameroonians are not, no Cameroonian is free, because these people, for them to continue languishing in prison over no crime, because freedom of expression is a right, and we, Cameroon government, is a signatory of all international and national and uh, regional laws that uh, have given the right to every citizen to freely express himself. Because if you are like denying the citizens even common, uh, preventing people from, from speaking, what are you going to do to, to, to those citizens? We are praying that this government to do everything possible to make sure that they're free, even the journalists that are included, because we have somebody like but, but the, law, the law, the law went through parliament, and the, the parliamentarians supposedly representing the people, people. they mm -hmm. are the ones who voted for the bill, 
which President Paul Bia only ignited into law. No, but the law makes it very clear that when if the parliamentarian, parliamentarian votes a law and at the level of President Paul Bia for him to ratify the law, he notice that the law is against, maybe anti-constitutional or it's against the Lua war or law, it thinks it's not reasonable at all. The, government, the president has the right to reject the law because the parliamentarians are not... Because, because no, no, the, bill, the bill came from the presidency and uh, <clears> the parliamentarians <throat> only worked on the bill which came from the government bench. That's why so, we, are, we are saying so that... The how possible was it for President Paul Bia to reverse the bill after it was adopted in parliament, knowing fully well that it came from government bench, and President Pobia was very much aware. So, should the blame not go to the MPs who. No, the, 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 the person who has the finances is only the President of the Republic. Blame should go to the President of the Republic. That's why we are calling on the President of the Republic to reform the 2014 anti terrorism.